Hello, welcome to Invictus Motors. My name is Bashir Zahir. We have a Porsche 718 S. I've previously reviewed the 718 GTS and why I've said that the 2.5 litre four cylinder turbocharged engines are incredible, why they sound so amazing. And at the same time, you get good fuel efficiency and you get very, very good performance. And in no way, form or shape has the 718 with a four cylinder turbocharged has lost any of its characteristics over the 981 Boxster or the Caymans which were naturally aspirated. Before we can delve into this review any further don't forget to subscribe. Any money that we make from reviewing these cars for our YouTube channel they get donated to a, uh, to a UK registered charity and currently we're in the process of building wells and a school in Afghanistan. So every second of you watching that video helps a long way. Now back onto the 718. In around sort of 2016, 2017, many Porsche enthusiasts considered this to be a slightly controversial decision because they said, we will no longer have the naturally aspirated 911s, the Caymans, the Boxsters, because they will become turbocharged. And that it is exactly what happened in the 718 iteration. This now has a 2.5 litre engine, which is turbocharged, four cylinder, of course, it's a flat six boxer engine and the turbocharged means from a BHP point of view, you're looking at 345 BHP and 420 Newton meters of torque. 420 Newton meters of torque is what you would normally get in a 911, 991 Carrera S. So very good performance. And in terms of the 0 to 60 numbers, you're looking at 4.4 seconds in a 0 to 60 miles per hour. And in terms of the top speed, you're looking at well into the 180 miles per hour. And all in all, it hasn't lost any of its true characteristic in terms of what it's like to drive, how it handles and how it sounds. And in fact, the 718, as a matter of fact, sounds better than the naturally aspirated. I know it's a bit controversial, but let's take it out for a drive and tell you why I think that. What I love about the test drive part of it is the drone following us. And at the same time, if you want to get good quality sound out of the exhaust, you must have the microphone at the back right near the exhaust and also because the engine sounds so good on the 718 you almost get a bit of a situation where the sound is a bit too good purely because the sound is just too grunty it just rumbles so well that the microphone it's just, I mean, it's overbearing for the microphone. But hey ho, I've said it, and let's see if I can prove the theory of why the 718 sounds so incredible. I mean, to recap, just a couple of major spec items. I mean, I'm sitting in these lovely Sport Plus hardback seats, which are leather and fabric, my favorite, because they do an incredible job working, these two materials working really well together with each other. I've got the sport steering wheel here, which is very nice to hold on to. And just, you know, you get a very good feel from, from the leather and ergonomically, it just has just the right places to hold the steering wheel from to, to get a good feel for the car. Now in terms of responsiveness, obviously 718 with the 2.5 litre engine, they're turbocharged, you get that bit more responsiveness, especially in the lower gears. And it's not disappointing in any way, form or shape either in the higher gears because the naturally aspirated engines
actually aspirated engines used to just go on and on and on from a sound and both from how progressive the performance used to be but that is in no way form or shape compromised by the fact that these are now turbocharged because they're equally as good if not better because clearly it's an evolution of how far those engines were stretched and you know how much the how wide they could go in terms of making those liners and just the engine block and in terms of optimization I almost feel as if you know they did the best they could and if you wanted anything better from the last of the naturally aspirated 981s or the 911s you needed to then go away and buy a GT4 product and in terms of the 718 GT4 uh, 4 litre uh, engine I mean you're looking at big big money you know you're looking at at least in in the mid 80,000 pounds which is big money or the GTS or the 911 GT3s or uh, you know the GT3 RSs whatever they may be but this is in that affordable Porsche category where you want a car that sounds good, a car that handles well, and a car that does all the jobs in the modern day and age that a Porsche should do. And something that is an absolutely must is obviously having the upgraded entertainment, upgraded PCM there. I mean, this is now has Apple CarPlay, the 981 which is the previous generation, Boxster and Caymans, unfortunately, were very, very outdated PCMs. And I think many of us out there had to simply change them just to make them just to make them be up to date. And guess what? This sound is just from the normal standard comfort settings. I haven't pressed the sports button. And let's play a little bit with the pedal shifts now in the third. Oh, oh, just a very crisp, clear sound and very linear progressive performance and this handling is into something that has a third gear of doing pretty good speeds and it handles like a queen just sublime performance just to recap one more time, the performance are, numbers are 345 bhp, 420 Nm meters of torque, 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds. The top speed is precisely 177 miles per hour. And in terms of a combined MPG, it's approximately from memory was in the mid 30s and the motorway MPG went into sort of mid 40s. So all in all, this is a phenomenal package from a performance car that you can get especially from a very driver focused Porsche so I hope I've convinced you to go out and buy this it's so addictive that sound is oh, really good <laughs> And above all, if you're somebody that wants something to daily, something practical, this has two boot spaces. How many cars out there has two boot spaces? And it's got plenty of leg room here in the driver's seat or in the passenger seat, even if you're six foot three or six foot four. It will fit you in with no problem. And let's now stop and talk a little bit more about what the exterior and interior spec of this 718 is made of.
Spec wise, what do we have here? This is finished in a very gorgeous uh, midnight blue metallic complemented with a 20 inch Carrera sports alloys. This has the sport design package, sport design side folding, electric door mirrors, sport design wheels, and all in all, it's got very much of a classic theme going on here. Obviously, you've got the must have by Xenon headlights and quite a bit of the usual high spec, you know, optional items that you would expect from Porsche. And before we can actually go into the inside and show you a little bit more of the sort of really juicy um, extra optionals that I absolutely love that needs to be an optional, the 718s are an extremely practical car. You actually have a front just like the Caymans and the Boxsters that go as far as 1997. You've got front boot space, very spacious. And to make things even better on the Cayman and the Boxsters, you've got some boot space at the back. In the Caymans, because it's a mid-engine and you've got this glass at the back with a hard top, you, as a matter of fact, has a bit more space. And the Caymans also has a more driver-focused look to it because it's got a monocoque chassis. On the inside, this is that juicy spec item, the Sport Plus with hardback seats, which are finished in leather and um, fabric. I mean, they are great because fabric both works like a treat for the winter because it warms up quickly and it's, they're not too cold to sit on and they work like a treat in the summer because when you sit on leather in the summer, they can be a bit hot and very sweaty. And that's not the problem that you normally find with fabric. Now, in terms of the steering wheel, you've got the sports steering wheel here. It's got cruise control and you've got the sports button there as well. You've got the uh, seven speed PDK transmission as well as Apple CarPlay and, and the entertainment system. And the front seats are also heated. And you've got the auto headlights at the front, LED at the back. And all in all, from a mileage point of view, it's only done 23,146 miles. It's got four owners from brand new in terms of the service history. It's got a full Porsche service history. Hopefully all of this has convinced you to go out there and lump some money at a 718. If it hasn't, hopefully it does at some point. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.